thinking about the fire, I was thinking about those things, obviously, that, <clears throat> that was on my heart and, and her, uh, Mary of Bethany, going into the fire with Jesus. And, um, you know, I mean, the Lord really, really moved on me on that. And, and in the process of considering all of that, of course, <clears throat> And, and maybe even in the process of, uh, you know, where we're all at in relationship to the gathering and what's going on is um, this phrase that is so um, common, uh, particularly among church people. <clears throat> and it's um, being on fire for God, being on fire for God. And, um, of course, I, probably the most common meaning, meaning of that is, <clears throat> is that we're excited about God or we're, um, you know, we're really zealous. Yeah, I'm really zealous. <clears throat> um, but, um, you know, I've studied... This is my earlier days, but I studied revolutions and stuff like that, and I and it, it was pretty obvious that there was no real movement of God. Anything that was really a movement of God, anything that was something where it's really, really happening, not just not just of God, but revolutions in general. Somewhere it started with a spark, and uh, when you consider that, you consider that a spark is way less than a fire, but it is fire. And, um, but that spark is what really brings the fire forward. It's the thing that, that moves it. It's really the thing that moves it, you know. <clears throat> and um, I was part of the Jesus movement. I was part of the charismatic movement. <clears throat> and, um, uh, you know, the charismatic movement is nothing like what it was. It used to be so exciting, and God was moving, and there was all of these things, you know, and uh, the church was growing and, uh, and those kind of things. And <clears throat> the, you, you, you get all caught up in, in something. But the truth is, is that those things can burn out, just like a fire can burn out. But there are, there are people who seem to stay on fire. I mean, they seem to genuinely stay on fire. I believe that I have survived. Uh, I mean, I was in my early 20s, and now I'm in my early uh, 70s. <clears throat> um, I think that I... I I survived all of the movements that came and went, mainly because I felt like the fire that burned in me was brighter than the fire that was trying to destroy me. And that's two different fires. Uh, and we can get those things mixed up in the sharing that we, we do, uh, particularly now on being with Jesus in the, in the fire or on the altar. Um, the, the, the thing that ignited the three Hebrew children, that's the term that you hear most common for them, <clears throat> um, was they already had a fire before they went in the fire. <laughs> You know, but they didn't have Jesus right there with them. But they had a fire, and they were thrown into a fire, and the fire within, that was in them was greater than the fire they were thrown into. But there was even a, the greater thing is, is that Jesus was in there. And uh, the great thing about Mary of Bethany, when she went, stepped through the, the door into the corridor, there was Jesus yeah. in there. And uh, that, you know, 
That is powerful. And so people like the three Hebrew children or, or people like Mary of Bethany who, who've gone through that, they, they carried the flame out of it. And I'll tell you, I, I, over the years, I've found that it's good to seek those who fan the flame that's within you. Seek those people. Those who will fan that flame. Those that, you know, because let's face it, it's, it's easy for a fire to go out. I mean, the right weather, the right conditions, too much wind, all this kind of stuff, or certainly get low. <clears throat> Even if you make a fire place and you throw logs on and everything, and you're sitting there and you're, this is wonderful. Well, sooner or later you're going to have to get up and go stir it up. Stir up, stir it up, stir it up. That's what we're talking about, spiritually. And um, so, so let people fan your flames. Find people that fan your flames. And, and let it rise to a level that you, it will be so strong and so bright that that fire won't go out because it's defeated. It's literally defeating the negative flames that are out there. And then if you add to that, you know, Peter even talks about that. Add to this in Second Peter. Those who will fan your flames. Mm -mm -mm. See, then it's not all you. It's not all about you. It's not all about your, what you have or don't have. You know, it's about the Lord in them that's working through them, fanning your flames that will eventually have you fanning the flames of others. Till we all come to the measure, the stature, the fullness of Christ. So anyway, no, I'm not going to preach. That's it.